our interracial couples give birth to superior babies. Contrary to what a number of people believe, there is no superior race. One's skin tone, shape and color of the eyes, height, and hair color are not indicative that one person is much more superior than another person who has different physical attributes. Frankly, that kind of mindset is actually a narrow-minded view of humanity and the world and to put it bluntly, racist. Simply put, we are just the same as those who look different from us. What differentiates us from other people is not tangible, such as our personalities, our ideas and mindsets, the way we carry ourselves, and so many similar aspects. Unfortunately in some countries and cultures, being of a mixed race is looked down upon by others. There are still some people who believe that the only acceptable marriages or families are those where they all belong to the same race, whether Caucasian, Asian, or Blacks, mixed marriages and their children are a no-no. Children of mixed race are seen by them as weak or inferior in various aspects when compared to those who came from pure families, or those that belong, belong to a single race. Fortunately for those of mixed race descents, when genetics are involved, there are some aspects wherein they are superior than others. Some studies have shown that in some ways, being of a mixed race actually has advantages, contrary to the beliefs of the superior race believers. Among these are the following. 1. Mixed race children tend to be taller than their peers. A study was once conducted that involved more than 350,000 people from all over the world, and one of the surprising results in that particular study was that, the more distantly related an individual's parents were the taller they tended to be. In layman's terms, mixed-race people will likely end up taller than those from either race of their parents. On average, they are 1.2 centimeters taller than those who belong to a single race. It may be a minuscule amount, but it is still proof that mixed race is advantageous when height is concerned. 2. They are usually smarter. In the same study as above, it was also observed that the mixed-race children generally fared better in various cognitive tests that were given to the participants. It was also noted in the study that they have a higher educational attainment than those who belong to single-race families. In fact, they were discovered to have had a formal education 10 months longer than others on average, which meant that they stayed in school longer by getting a master's or doctorate degrees or studying another course. 3. They can handle temperature changes better. It is widely known that Caucasians handle the cold way better than Blacks, Latin Americans, and some Asians. This is because their bodies are used to handling cold temperatures for a lengthy period of time, having to experience different seasons all year round, with cold days happening more than hot ones. Because of this, their bodies have adapted in order to cope with the cold. The opposite holds true for the other races, as they experience more hot days, with many living in tropical countries where there is only sun and rain. If a mixed race child has one parent from a cold country, and the other is from a hot country, he or she will inherit the characteristics from both parents that will make him or her much more adaptable to the changing temperatures. 4. Adjusting to different environments comes easier for them. Same with adapting to different temperatures, mixed-race children will also be able to acclimate themselves better to different environments. It's known that Caucasians can barely tolerate the heat, and too much sun exposure makes them much more susceptible to getting sunburns and blacks tolerate lengthier sun exposures because of the high melanin content on their skin, which enables them to tan instead of burn under the sun. The opposite holds true with cold places and the number of layers of clothing one needs to prevent frostbite are involved. A person of mixed race has a better chance of adapting faster to both environments, having inherited the tolerance for both heat and cold from his or her parents' genes. 5. There's a greater chance for them to survive certain diseases. It's a fact that there are certain illnesses and diseases that are specific or more common to a certain ethnicity, like the sickle cell disease common to those of African descent, while other races are immune to such diseases. This is advantageous to mixed-race children since they have a greater chance of being immune to a certain disease or illness that is common to the race of one of his or her parents, but is practically unheard of in the race of the other parent. 6. They have a wider range of attributes they can inherit. Asians have the stereotype of being raven-haired, slim in stature, with narrow or small eyes, while Caucasians are fair-skinned and tall. Mixed-race children have the greater chance to get various physical characteristics from both parents that will allow them to break those stereotypes. They can be fair-skinned petite brunettes with different eye colors, brown-eyed blondes, etc. The possible physical combinations for mixed-race children, especially when parents look nothing alike, are so many. In fact, there are documented cases where mixed-race twins look very different from each other, e.g. one is fair-skinned while the other twin is brown-skinned. Of course, there are also advantages for people of other races, but these advantages for mixed-race people should be noted to break the idea that they are the inferior race. Genetics is still a tricky subject relying mostly on probability, so there is no assurance that all of the advantages listed here will be obtained by every single person considered to be of mixed race.
any race has its own set of advantages and disadvantages. But one thing is for sure, there is no race superior than the other and to think otherwise is just being racist.